Welcome to this tutorial video about image-guided lung protection by Draeger. Within this tutorial, I want to show you the latest tools for personalized ventilation. Finding the best PEEP for each individual patient is a daily challenge. The Evita Infinity V500 ventilator, in combination with the Lung Function Monitor Pomovista 500, allows to visualize the adverse effects of mechanical ventilation. In the following video, I want to show you a possible standardized workflow to analyze the lungs response to different pressure levels and to find the best compromise between alveolar overdistension, collapse and cyclic opening and closing. So let's get started. First, we need to establish a connection between the Evita and Pomovista. All we need is a Medibus cable, which is connected to the COM ports of both devices to transfer ventilation data. After setting the Medibus preferences of the ventilator to the following settings, the connected ventilator will be displayed in the data import window of Pomovista together with the imported ventilation data. Once a connection is established, we can start an EIT measurement by Pomovista to monitor the patient's ventilation distribution. In order to assess the lung's response to different PEEP levels, we need to perform a PEEP trial. One possible workflow could be an initial recruitment maneuver followed by a decremental PEEP trial. For this analysis, we choose pressure control ventilation and use the function pressure link and quick set. In order to gradually open the lung, we can stepwise increase the PEEP level in steps of 5 millibar. We can use pressure link and quick set to keep a constant driving pressure and apply the increased PEEP levels immediately. During this recruitment phase, we have to closely monitor the patient's condition, for instance, the patient's cardiovascular status. Now, we have to identify whether the patient is a responder or a non-responder to the recruitment maneuver. We can directly assess this with the help of the end inspiratory trend view of Pomovista. I'm placing the reference cursor before the recruitment maneuver and the comparison cursor right in the middle of the recruitment maneuver. We can see a tidal image for each cursor position. In this example, the recruitment maneuver was able to significantly improve ventilation in the dorsal part of the lung. Having identified that the patient is a responder to the recruitment maneuver, we can now continue with the decremental PEEP trial. For the decremental PEEP trial, we choose PEEP steps of 2 millibar and a constant driving pressure below 40 millibar. In this example, we start at a PEEP level of 14 millibar and lower to 12. Again, we can use pressure link and quick set to lower the PEEP instantly while maintaining a constant driving pressure. Each PEEP level should be held for at least 5 breaths or approximately 30 to 60 seconds. The final PEEP level should be above ZEEP, ideally between 4 and 6 millibar. After performing the diagnostic maneuver, we use Pomovista to analyze the PEEP trial. Here we open the diagnostic view. We use the start page to define analysis sections for each step of the trial. These sections are usually found automatically by the built-in algorithm. Now we simply press the button PEEP trial analysis. The results of the PEEP trial analysis show an overview 
of the selected PEEP levels and the possible adverse effects of ventilation. In this clinical example, five PEEP steps have been identified and for each step the corresponding tidal image is displayed. This series already displays nicely at which PEEP level major lung collapse starts. The second row displays maps of regional lung compliance. Here, the loss of regional compliance towards higher PEEP levels, which indicates overdistension, is displayed in orange color. In contrast, the loss of compliance towards lower PEEP levels, typically caused by lung collapse, is displayed in white color. The yellow color indicates regions with cyclic opening and closing. Next to the maps of compliance loss, the associated parameters also allow a quantification of those conditions. In the diagram, which is displayed at the bottom of this diagnostic view, we can observe an opposing trend of collapse and overdistension with a clear intersection at a certain PEEP level. To personalize PEEP selection, we could choose this or the next higher PEEP level, as this level shows the minimal amount of total compliance loss. The final decision, of course, depends on multiple parameters and the overall patient condition. So this is one possible workflow on how to find the individual PEEP for your patient. By the way, if you are interested in this analysis in the perioperative setting, the Parisius A500 anesthesia device supports an automated PEEP trial. Thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about image-guided lung protection, please visit draeger.com slash imageguided or contact your local Draeger representative.